the two valves back there are closed. bottom butterfly fly valves closed and your top two open and then all these valves all this valves closed this one open open closed Still dripping, so the nine bag should be perfect. Then make sure you close your valves for the perlite bags. Or leave your pallets up here. Yeah. 18 bags of perlite stocked up, ready to go. Nine on this end. Stack two pallets now.
then you take your bags and you fold them up and you put them in the damn trash. Oh, yeah. Now you go in here, you check your press, make sure there ain't no leaks. Look all around the bottom. leaks down there. You get bit, you got a leak like that. Turn your conveyor belt on. It's right here. Make sure leak go all the way out the back. This is a J press filter press. There's 108 plates in it. This is where all your stuff comes off of the conveyor belt at.
Pump off. Got us a nice little cat telehandler. Yeah. Once your tank is low, you fill it up again. You go back in here. Flip your valves back to the home position. Flip your pump to the home position. Exit the building, take flight. While it's filling up, you want to go back up here and throw your another nine baggers of perlite in. Now you want to throw nine more bags of perlite for your third tank to be prepped. As this one is filling up again. There's a little top view for you. Roughly 12 mile an hour winds. If the sock was straight out, it would be 15 to 20 mile an hour winds. Occasionally, you gotta mix your perlite up in here because it'll build up on top of the float. Your second batch of mud and oil and water is filling up. You just watch your gauge. Taught my coworker how to run the front end loader today. She is full, and we're gonna cut her down. Don't trip over that, or that, or any of this. Flip that valve off after you get your sample. Oh yeah. And make sure you wipe your sample off. Yeah, you gotta wipe off your crack button. It's not a rose, you can use it twice. Duh. Now you walk back and hang out. Check your junk tank level. You gotta pull it down because it gets stuck. Oh yeah. Eight foot seven. 
Come over here, check your production tank level. Then you go hang out in the break room for a while. You come over here, you grab you a sample. Run your water off of it. Set your sample up there. Wait and it will separate. That's where we hang out. I'm going to shut down the pressure. I'm going to turn the air off first. Turn that off and then close this valve. And then we'll open these bad boys. Air is pushing everything out from there all the way back down through here. Close this valve, flip this air hose on, turn this air off, and that air off, and then you'll slowly open this valve when it gets to 60. If you do it three times, let your gauge drop, shut your handle. One.
this is what that sample looks like now that it's set for a few hours. Last valve. When you're done blowing them all down, you make sure your bottom two are closed and your top two are open. Close, open. And then you walk down here and you shut this air off. And then you turn off the compressor. And we gotta come over here and turn these valves off, right? You can right now, yeah. I'm just gonna turn the compressor off. Alright. That valve. And that valve off. Come over here, put on our specialized so you don't get bone cancer.
This is the inside of the press cake. The press. The cake falls out of there. slide all these back one at a time 108 times and there's a cake inside each one and anywhere there's material that's caked up still and left you scrape with a spatula goes down on the conveyor belt and goes out the end of the building. Now it's the cake dropping out. When you do all of them, you just turn this knob back to close, match this button, and you're done.